It's not all that uncommon for an older car to have a few electrical gremlins. The usual culprit is dodgy wiring like this. And while a few things not working as they should can be a bit of a problem, this sort of thing could lead to a fire. And that is far more serious. So do yourself a favour and make sure that the wiring in your vehicle is up to standard. Now the most reliable way of joining two wires together is by soldering. It's the act of using heat via a soldering iron and a fusible metal, the solder, to create the electrical connection. But it can take a little practice to get it right. Before you start, make sure the battery is disconnected so there's no power to the wire you intend to work with. Molten solder will burn you and anything it touches, so ensure that both you and your car are protected. Be cautious not to breathe in the fumes and always work in a well-ventilated area. When you're finished, switch off or sit the iron in a holder for your own safety. To begin, strip off approximately one centimetre of insulation from the end of each wire to be joined and slide a three centimetre piece of heat shrink over one piece of wire. Now these quick action wire strippers are a great and fast alternative to using side cutters or traditional wire strippers. Next, twist the wires together to create a strong physical connection. Hold the two ends in a cross shape and twist one wire along the length of the other wire. Repeat to create a strong but efficient connection. Now with the soldering iron heated up, sit the end of the solder over the joint. Apply heat until the solder has flown through the joint. If the solder will not flow through, then more heat will be required. Without moving it, let the joint cool. You should have a nice shiny finish on the solder and be able to see the outline of the individual wires, but not any exposed strands. Now after you're satisfied with the joint, slide the heat shrink over the top and apply heat to seal. Heat shrink won't come unstuck like electrical tape will. The other safe connection option is the humble crimp connector. And it's available in a variety of styles and sizes. Being simple and easy to use, they are popular. However, they don't always offer the longevity of soldering. One tip to remember is always ensure the connector has been crushed enough to create a tight connection. You don't want the wire coming loose over bumps and through vibration. Make sure you select the correct gauge wire and fuse for your application. An accessory drawing high current with small wiring and inadequate fusing will almost certainly cause a fire. Determine the current draw of the accessory in amps and select the appropriate wire. Now, from this, you'll be able to fit the correct size fuse, as the fuse is there to protect the wire from excessive current draw. Now, with a bit of practice, you'll have those electrical gremlins under control, and you'll have the knowledge to prevent them. Thanks for watching, and remember, we're here to help.